The Independence of Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde were colonies of Portugal, which was determined not to let them go. The Portuguese were determined not to give up their colonies in Angola, Guinea-Bissau, Cape Verde and Mozambique because the colonies were great contributors to their economic well-being. The first resistance began in Cape Verde with the revolutionary political organizer and nationalist Amilca Cabral. Amilca Cabral was educated at Lisieux Gilles in the town of Mindelo in Cape Verde and later at the Instituto Superior de Agronomia in Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, which was then the colonial power ruling over Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde. While an agronomy student in Lisbon, he founded student movements that were dedicated to opposing the ruling dictatorship of Portugal and promoting the cause of independence for the Portuguese colonies in Africa. He returned to Africa in 1950 and was instrumental in promoting independence causes of the then Portuguese colonies. He was the founder in 1956 of the PAIGC, or the Portuguese for African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde, and was also one of the founders of the Movimento Popular Liberato de Angola, or MPLA. In 1959, the PAIGC organized a strike by dock workers at the port of Bissau, but the police brutally crashed the strike and shot dead 50 workers. Thereafter, Amilcar decided that a full-scale war was the only way to achieve independence. His goal was to establish a socialist state. As the war progressed in the rural areas, they built schools, health clinics, roads, agricultural projects and so forth in a bid to improve the lives of the rural communities. By September 1973, the PAIGC had liberated most of Guinea and declared independence. However, Amilcar Cabral was assassinated by Portuguese agents on January 20, 1974 in Conakry, Guinea, before the Portuguese troops finally withdrew in September. His half-brother Louis Cabral became the leader of the Guinea-Bissau branch of the party and would eventually become the president of Guinea-Bissau.